All right, I want to keep this episode as brief as possible because I'm hungry and it's like 8.30 and I've been dancing all day. The reason why I've been dancing all day is because it's Wheezy Day. It's September 27th. It's Lil Wayne's birthday. And I've been karaoke his songs. And um, you've probably seen it on my social media of me dancing to a few songs. I danced to... I made eight different videos. Um, I did a um, Wasted Remix. Um, that one's cool because I'm dancing there. I got like a fake joint in my hand, right? And my girl's just working. This is early in the morning, probably like nine or something like that. Or uh nine fifteen is after my session. So like nine fifteen, nine thirty. And she's working in the back and I'm just being me, you know. Um and then uh I do uh the next song I do I do band from T V on there. Um I do swag surfing. I do uh, Dark Side of the Moon. I love Dark Side of the Moon from Carter Five because uh, it's such a poetic song. It's like a song about being romantic and and um, keeping your love safe and your lover safe through an apocalypse and escaping from Earth, going to the moon. It's just very poetic. And I really like the Carter Five album in general because, um, you know, 2018, 2019, emotionally wise, stuff I was just going through, um man that album really helped me really spoke to me a lot and um it connected with me and even with with Wayne on the album he showed more parts of himself and it was like the more I learned about him on that album the more I was also learning about myself um I was about 28 that came out album came out three years ago no I'm sorry 20 I was 26 when the album came out I was 26 and uh you know just different life changes going on and um it helped me a lot those the words and just hearing about the things he had to overcome and um you know having a second chance at life and things like that was very deep man and I didn't know a lot a lot about that about Wayne um and just for me um those words the words are powerful you know I, Wayne's been inspiring me and entertaining me since I was in the second grade since he was with the hot boys and what I love about Wayne is that he's super creative um he gives he gives he gives he he continues to evolve he stays current with today's music he's he knows that he's considered the goat and he still gives back to the younger generation he still makes these collabs with upcoming artists and um one of the biggest things he said i remember he was saying he was like on his on these mixtapes he never charged for money and in that you can learn that working for free right this is a, a lesson right here that working for free can produce a lot of marketing for yourself. It can produce more creativity, more breakthroughs, um, more ideas, um, more of the results you're looking for. And in that case, for Wayne, uh, more music, more fans. Um, uh, it can produce um, just just networking, and um, you know through him on his mixtapes you know he's using other people's instrument instrumentals and i'm sure artists are like excited that when wayne gets on their instrumental they're probably like man that's pretty cool that he used my instrument my instrumental my beat so that's like a form of networking but um again going back to how he did these mixtapes for free he refused to charge his fans he refuses to make money on doing it on doing these mixtapes it's just something that he likes to do he does it for fun he does it to test himself to um test things out um going to the different pockets and um angles of his rap and uh you know if you go all the way back to Wayne's old stuff to now it's incredible the 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 variety that he has the style the different styles the way he can kind of sing and use a singing voice rapping voice the way he can flip a verse and and have different um styles on on a song is what makes him the goat and he has a lot of music which makes him the goat he just continues to make and make and make and give and give and give um another thing about wayne that i love is that how he said that a lot of old artists they try to knock this newer generation and they don't try to keep up and they try to um they try to really dog it and put it down that the new music is just not the way. And he's like, I am not that guy. Um, I evolve. I change my flow. I change my style. And that's why he's still here. I think uh, Wayne turned uh, 39, I want to say, 
and that's old in hip hop. If you really think about that, but he doesn't sound old. Um, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't fade. He's not getting uh, left behind musically wise. He's not. He's not fading away, um, and that's because he continues to change and adapt. And that says a lot about being an artist. And I think anybody in what they're doing can learn. Me as a fitness trainer, um, I can learn about that. And the things that I want to do with writing or anything and content, I can learn about that. Being an entrepreneur, you know, starting businesses, you know, that's important to be keeping up with the times, adapting. Um, so, you know, Lil Wayne's always inspired me. It's a wheezy day today. And, um, you know, I'm a big fan. And that's why I did... Uh, so I did this karaoke day today. Oh, and other, other, other songs that I did. I did, um, I said Man From TV, right? I did, man, let me see what I did. Uh, you guys are going to have to go on my Instagram. I can't remember. I did eight eight different songs, though. And they're all incredible. I did She's Mine. It's like an R&B style song. Um, it's really smooth. Super smooth. You guys got to check that one out. Uh, XO Tour Life, you know, little Uzi, Uzi Vert song, he remixed that. Oh, My Name Is, classic Eminem song, um, you know, one of Eminem's top songs, he remixed that. What's funny about that, that's from No Ceilings, No Ceilings, No Ceilings, from No Ceilings, and I slept on that song for so long, I didn't listen to that song until this year, that just shows you how many, how much music he has, which brings me to this, on my YouTube playlist, if you want to find all of Wayne's mixtapes, you gotta find, you gotta listen to it on YouTube. Um, go on YouTube, listen to the dedications, listen to uh, the No Ceilings mixtapes, listen to Sorry for the Wait mixtapes, listen to all that stuff, all of it. It's all good. Um, I really like Dedication Six. I love his main albums. I like I like the Funeral. I like C Five. All the older albums. I mean, they're really awesome. Um, but I might I have a Little Wayne. YouTube playlist and I have a hundred and ten songs. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, you can't do that with really any other artist. You can't make a list of a hundred and ten songs from one artist. I don't think you can do that. There's nobody making that much music. And the fact is, I have a hundred and ten songs. And I know I'm probably missing like sixty more because I don't even have like all his features that he's on. I don't have all those songs. I don't have the main radio songs, the main album songs like "Get Money" with T Pain or "Lollipops" not on there or "Mrs. Officer." Our comfortable is not on there. Um, six foot, seven foot is not on there. Like I don't have the main songs. I have a lot of mixtape songs, and I don't have a lot of the features, main features that he uh, he had, that he's on. Like um, um, what's the, what's the song? I'm in it with the tarot. Got a handful of stacks. I make it. Is it make it rain? Yeah, that one. I don't got songs like that. Um, where he just featuring. She used to be the sweetest girl. She used to be the sweetest girl ever, ever. That song. Um, yeah. A soldier with Destiny Child. I don't got all his features. I had all like all of his features. Some of his new features aren't even on that list yet. Um, you know, we're easily talking 200, 300 songs on the playlist. So, you know, Wayne has depth in his music. So today was Wheezy Day. Um, that's all I wanted to share. I'm going to go eat some food. Uh, literally all day I've just been making Lil Wayne videos. And you guys think, like, why would I do that, right? What, is that, what does that have to do with social media and who I am as a person? Well, what that's doing is just showing another side to the world. And I think that's important. If you're on social media, you're building a brand, you're building a following, don't be afraid to show the quirkiness, the weird, the fun, exciting, musical you know things you love side don't 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 be afraid to do that because that's make that makes you more real makes you more authentic people can connect you at a real human level and i hope when people see me dancing and rapping little wayne songs they know that hey i'm i listen to music i appreciate musical talent i i dance i love to dance i like to have fun um and um i'm a goofball you know i'm a goofball and you know as as i work hard i also like to play hard i also like to have fun and um i think that's uh i think that's important you know when you're out here on these social media pages be you and uh don't worry if people laugh don't worry if people judge you or anything because 
you know, you are unique, you are special, and you have a lot to offer that other people can't offer, all of us, we all have gifts, we all have strengths that um, the world needs to see, the world needs to feel, the world needs to touch, the world needs to get inspired from, the world needs to experience, we all have those special things, and through those little win videos, I just hope, you know, it, the, his music inspires you, I hope some way in watching my me watching me be free and having fun that that does something to you entertaining wise inspiration wise as well um thank you for listening to this episode um time to go eat this is kicking in with jason thank you guys so much